We've got a very interesting weather pattern setting up for the rest of the week for the east coast of the United States. In fact, it stretches all the way down to Florida. Notice they have winter weather advisories, even winter storm warnings for the northern Gulf Coast of Florida as well. And this extends through Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and it's in Southern Virginia. This is because a low is going to be developing over the next 24 hours and deepening quickly, meaning it's going to get real strong real fast. So you notice on the pinpoint forecast already by Wednesday morning, rain showers, thunderstorms developing from northern Bahamas, uh, just off the coast of Florida and Georgia and South Carolina with some of this wintry mix extending down into northern Florida. That's why they have winter storm warnings in effect. But as the system continues to go up the east coast, it gets strong fast. And by Thursday morning, you notice that we have a vigorous low pressure system moving up the east coast to the United States. We have snow bands along from New Jersey, New York, even into parts of Pennsylvania, Delaware, down towards Washington, D.C. and Virginia as well. And strong gusty winds so we could have whiteout and blizzard like conditions all the way up the east coast through Boston and eventually up towards Maine by Thursday afternoon into Thursday evening. The problem is going to be we've also got a cold front coming through right before all this moisture, so it's going to be very cold outside. And then on the back side of this low, we're going to see very cold air spilling down from Canada. Some folks in upstate New York could be 20 to 25 degrees below zero to start the weekend. And even back at home, we're going to see a strong northerly flow. I expect temperatures near zero to start the day on Friday, and most of us will be below zero to start the weekend on Saturday. The good news is we could be back near 40 by the start of next week.